in the very, very, very beginning, there was buzz about there someday maybe being a Colorado Music Showcase at South By. Sean called me today. Uh -huh. Okay. I was like, oh. <laughs> and then I remember like a month before South By, they were like, it's happening. We were like, it is. It is going to happen. We came out here and had that first showcase because it was the first Spokesbuzz bands. Like it went really well, but all of us were like, what are we doing? This is crazy. We don't even know what we're doing. It could have easily failed and not happened again. But the one thing is we just kept coming back and making it happen. Thanks everybody. We'll see you out there. Let's do it. Danny had this great idea to advance it from two days to five days. We've got over 120 bands here from Colorado, connecting people who are in the music business and musicians and making the connection with all the folks visiting that Colorado's in the house. We're not just testing the waters. We're not just here as, let's see if we can make it happen. We're here as like, it's fucking happening. It exists. There's something here that like we all came together on. It happens magically, and there's like a shitload of really good musicians. Can I say that? I went to the Pitchfork party and the Brooklyn Vegan party, and I've seen some of my favorite bands all week right here at the Colorado Music Party. It's been awesome. There are bands everywhere, industry people everywhere. It's nonstop music, nonstop energy. Everybody's just having a blast. I came last year, I love it. Oh, it was yeah, amazing. It was amazing. amazing. Yeah. 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 We blew it up this year. It's a non-stop, all day, all night thing for five days in a row. You just gotta remember it's a marathon, not a sprint, but also sometimes it's a sprint. They booked like eight billion more bands this year, so shout outs to them, you know, for growing the scene out here. It's been really good to us. There are people out in Denver that if you were blessed with the ability to see them live or hear their music, you would be blown away. It's a great step forward for people to see you playing down here. Meeting all the other bands, meeting the contacts, so it's just like a hot spot. These guys are doing a fantastic job of bringing some attention to the Colorado market and how cool Colorado is musically. Such good people, everybody's super friendly, obviously. Colorado has that kind of vibe. Folks Buzz has kind of harnessed that. We all get in the same room together and say, hey, this is gonna be amazing. You know, best crowd, best sound system, best production on all of six right now. Yeah. I could go anywhere around and like see a good show, but whoever's coming on next, I'm like, well, I have to stay for them because they're so fucking good. So it's like, Colorado's kidnapped me. Writing music for me, it's um, very cathartic and, and very personal and um, yeah, it helps me deal with a lot of like, you know, where I come from. The main goal is to try to explore your experience with the world, your experience with memory, what makes you feel certain ways, that's what music is. Music allows us to tap into this like emotional rawness that we wouldn't get anywhere else in our day-to-day -day lives. In a lot of ways, it feels like the last truly uncensored expression of our emotions. Being such a primal, basic element of human existence, I don't know how we'd live without it. And what that does to remind us of, of our humanity, you know, is such a huge critical component of any kind of society. Music is the universal language, right? And so we see that as a really important part of the cultural fabric of Colorado. When I first started playing music in Colorado, I didn't know anybody. And within just like a few months, I just felt involved in a community that everyone was so excited to welcome me to. The level of collaboration and friendliness in Colorado, where people come together like this, is really remarkable. If we didn't have a good community, this wouldn't happen. There's the incredible music makers to begin with, but then there's this larger ecosystem. Cool organizations like Spokesbuzz around here. There's Greater Than Collective, who are a part of Illegal Pete's. 
it's so fun to connect all those dots and I think that's unique. Maybe it's not totally unique, it just works really well here. As I began to realize the strength of the asset, music as an asset, I began asking around about who are the players in this industry and Spokesbuzz, you know, was right at the top of the list. From my perspective, I'm like, wow, we are so fortunate that we're literally like guided through this whole process by Spokesbuzz. No one does what they do. No one, no one is as altruistic and selfless and works so hard on behalf of musicians. The organization enables a lot of people to continue to make music, and I love them. You're basically presented with a panel of mentors that you can talk to and you can email, and there's so much information there. It's not just about giving a platform and somewhere to play. There also seems to be a really good effort to help musicians understand the music business and how they can actually take their careers forward. It's not just a showcase for a lot of these acts. It's a whole part of a whole learning experience. Everything that he just said. <laughs> I'm just super proud of what we've done and what we're pulling off. It, it can only keep getting better, whatever it, you know, whatever we're creating. Creative Industries are the fifth largest employer in the state. One of the strengths in that ecosystem is music, and what can we do to even take that to the next level? To brand Colorado is this incredibly fun, creative, talented place where people want to be. Love sauce is the most magic, special sauce. I don't think anyone actually knows the real ingredients to. You don't have to know the ingredients because it just tastes so good. It's an organism of sorts. And it's like a very fulfilling organism to be a part of. We band together. You're building this, this like positive, emotional like connection with what you're doing and with each other. And I don't know. Music is a beautiful thing that just brings people together. We all want to have that kind of rich personal connection with people, right? So, yeah. Yeah. So we'll see what we can do about that. My grandma was kind of a wild woman and she had this great old jukebox full of, you know, amazing 45s. You know, I think that's the first time that that really resonated with me. My dad used to play Sugar Hill Gang for me in my crib when I was a baby. It was like old soul music and old like rap LPs like on vinyl. Attending a Jethro Tull concert inside of my mother's womb when she was uh, eight months pregnant, I feel like it's my oldest memory. Man, if Dubkins were still around, I would be fangirling out so hard right now. I saw them play so much and never got never ever got tired of it. I went to my first concert uh, when I was 10 with my mother, Willie Nelson, yeah. And then when my daughter turned 10, I took her to a Willie Nelson concert. One guy, he was like, man, they'll just do any kind of showcase. He's like, is there gonna be one for every state? And I was like, no, it's not gonna be. We just are lucky. <laughs>